I don't think there is anything more important than culture in a startup. Nothing else defines a company than its people. Uh, most startups in technology do not have any plants or machinery. Their success and failure, speed and sluggishness is all a function of the people they have and how motivated the people that they have feel, assuming that you've hired high quality talent. And nothing else will impact the success or failure. We've had to go through multiple shifts in our business over the last few years and we built a large market leading company only and only and only because we have a team that is highly motivated and missionary about the fact that they have to be associated with building something great that they can be proud about forever in their lives. Their identities have become, their personal identities have become the same as their professional identities where everyone knows them as snap to you. Um, and, and making people so missionary about this pursuit of building a great company is central to building a very, very successful startup. And, and that should never change as a company grows. The only things that should probably change as the company grows is, in, our view, in my view, that beyond the first, it's very hard for the entrepreneurs to know more than 150 to 200 people in their company by name and some background about them. It's just, it's humanly, uh, it's humanly hard to do that. And, and hence, it's important for, um, uh, for entrepreneurs and companies as they get larger to put together enough checks and balances processes that information flow up and down the ladder is very, very seamless. So we do things like skip one-on-ones so that it's very clear to a manager's manager that how are the, uh, the junior folks in that team working? And do they have any concerns? Is there some feedback they have for their manager that can be communicated to him or her? There's so many, so many processes that you can bring in that will help that the company seems a lot smaller than it actually is. That is very, very key. The moment you, you are a large company in terms of headcount and also start seeming like a large company, you're no longer a startup. You've become another of those dinosaurs. It's very important to continue having a very sort of a small company mindset with large company ambitions. That is very, very critical. And, and smart HR teams, smart, or smart organizational development folks, and honestly, at the end of the day, motivated entrepreneurs and senior management will make sure that a culture continues to seem very, very small and tightly knit uh, as compared to being just a very large company where most people don't know what other people do.